Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show how to manually update from Kodi 16.1 to a newer version of Kodi on the EM95X and the EM92 devices. These came preloaded with a version of Kodi 16.1 from China that's not recognized by the Google Play Store to be able to be updated directly over the top. Um, so to make things so that everybody that had everything that was already built on them can retain most of the information, I'm going to show you how to uninstall, download the Google Play Store uh, version, and then uh, download a file that I've made up that you can unzip directly on your box. So let's get started. The very first thing you're going to want to do is come over to the word settings. Then we're just going to go to the word apps. And once all your apps are up here, we're going to be deleting everything from Kodi. So any favorites, setups, the whole works, everything will be gone. So make sure you know your passwords or um, accounts, things like that, because you will need them. So here it will say Kodi version 16.1, not 7. 16.4 for, uh, for the purposes of this I'm showing you how to do it so originally uninstall Kodi 16.1 completely if you're on Kodi 17 17.1 point two point three you'll be able to update to 17.4 directly through the Google Play Store but if it came with that on the uh, box from China then uh, you'll have to follow this as well as their version also is not discoverable, discoverable via the Google Play Store or directly on uh, the Kodi website to just cleanly install over the top. <coughs> Next make sure you're signed into your Google Play Store and simply come up here and type in the word Kodi. Kodi. Once you've got Kodi open like this just hit the word install, accept any uh, pop-ups that come here, don't put any payment details in if it pops up asking you to, just uh, skip it, uh, you just need uh, the account really for free versions. So we're going to let that download and install, and that can be done in the background, no problems, it will install by itself. In the meantime, uh, we'll also want to make sure that you have a ES File Explorer. You can download that also from the Google Play Store, um, but most of them should already have it on it. And then last but not least, we're going to open up Google Chrome, and I have a file on a Mediafire website that you can download this file directly in a zip file to make it a bit faster. So simply open up a tab like so, and you'll need media fire.com forward slash file forward slash five one a g eight v for victor v for victor seven e for edgar v for victor p for peter four five d for david four forward slash dot Cody dot RAR. Once that's all been put into the web browser, make sure you come to the on screen enter button. Don't use a keyboard or anything and press OK. <coughs> and this will pop up like this. So what you want to do is come to the green part that here that says the word download. Click on it. And mine's already used ES File Explorer to download before, so if you've never downloaded something on it before, it'll pop up with Chrome browser, the normal web browser, and at the top, hopefully, ES File Explorer. Choose that, and then the word always, and it will download. So uh, at this point, I would just pause the video here and wait for it to finish downloading, and then we'll show you how to get to it when it's finished downloading. Okay, so it's finished downloading here. Um, I cancelled it because I've already got the file uh, on a USB stick. And this is the next procedure. So hit your home button. 
by now your original Kodi has been installed so we just need to go and open it up for the very first time so that it will build all the files for us. So the very first run is going to open up like so. And this is the new look of it, so um, you can either keep this skin if you would like, but my build has the Confluent skin still installed into it. So just go up one to the power button on there, press OK, the word exit comes up and just press OK again, and let it shut down completely. Uh, I've also incorporated a backdrop uh, in this build of um, Auckland, so I'll leave a link below where you can download that file as well. And let's show you how to do it. So once we've installed it, we're going to go to ES File Explorer. <coughs> if you've only installed ES File Explorer for the very first time, you'll want to come down to the word Tools here with your mouse. And just make show I, uh, our Root Explorer and show hidden files. Uh, enabled otherwise you won't be able to see these ones here that are kind of shadowed out you'll see these ones are much brighter so if I take the show hidden files off you'll see they'll disappear and this is quite important for this particular um, step now next we're just going to go to local you're going to find the files in download uh, the very first one we're going to want is the backdrop that I've put in here. So it's called Bayswater Marina Auckland. And it too should be in your download folder here like this. So you may have some others but these are the two that we're going to want here. Simply take your mouse over and long left click until a tick comes up like this. Come down to the word copy go to the word home on the left hand side of the screen not the home page and we're looking for the DCIM folder here with a picture of the camera on it simply come in here and hit the word paste and it will start going I'm overriding because I've already got one in there and that's that so now we can hit the back button a few times gone too far so the next place you want to come back is to the download uh, tab here on the left hand side and you'll see the word Kodi.rar. Once again we're going to highlight it and hold our button left, our, uh, left mouse key down for approximately two seconds while a tick comes up. But instead of copying and pasting anything we're going down to the bottom right here to the word more and we're looking for this extract to. Simply navigate your mouse over the top of it and left click once. <coughs> and we're going to direct where to extract the files. So first of all go to choose path. And now put your mouse over where it says forward slash SD card forward slash. And we're now going to choose the Android data folder. Scroll down if you've got too many on here and you're looking for org dot xbmc dot cody right there next you want to go to the files folder and you'll already see a cody file in there that's cool we're going to leave that there we're going to go to the word ok at the bottom so you should see it say forward slash sd card forward slash android forward slash data forward slash org dot xbmc dot cody forward slash files if this is all correct, I just want you to go to the word OK. If not, pause the video, go back and just make sure you're going into the same folders that I pressed as well. Once that's ready, we're going to hit the word OK. It's now going to decompress, which is extracting the files. And then uh, it will start transferring the files. Now approximately 
uh, I'm going to say about three quarters of the way through this, it may come up with this as well. Do you want to overwrite? Da -da 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 -da. Yes, we do. So we're going to click apply to all first and then overwrite. <coughs> now sit back, relax, because this is going to take a little bit of time to extract everything over. And if another one of those screens do pop up, once again, we're going to say yes, apply to all. So as soon as this is done, we'll come back uh, for the, I'll be editing most of this out. So just pause it and come back when you're finished and we'll be at the same junction point. Okay, so now that we've finished transferring the file over, we're just going to simply exit all the way back out, go to Kodi and open it up for the first time again. And here it all is. So your new setup will be on the latest version. And here are the new uh, apps that I've put on here. So we've got Covenant for your on-demand movies and TV shows. That has replaced Exodus. Uh, Bob Unleashed will have a bit of on-demand and live television. Elysium is also uh, very similar to Covenant and Exodus. Bennu has a few live and on-demand stuff and, of course, Australian Freeview speaks for itself. Once you've done that, the very first thing I would suggest doing is just saying OK to little things like that, but just jumping into your system, down to the word add-ons, And then finally going to available updates and just seeing what needs updating. And then finally just update all. Let that sit back, do all its updates, uh, make sure everything is up to date that way for you. And then finally, when it has all finished, uh, simply shut the box down completely and then reboot up and you should be good to go. So that's uh, the simple way of updating the boxes from 16.1. Um, don't forget, 17 uh, and onwards is only compatible with Android versions 5 and above. So if you're trying to do this on Android 4 um, operating system, it's not going to work. I think possibly you can get away with 4.4.2, uh, but most of the cheaper boxes were running 4.2. 2.2 at the best uh, of times. Um, so that's my tuition on how to do that. Any questions, uh, you can contact me on Facebook. I'll leave a link below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for any more uh, updates and new videos that I post. And hit that little bell so that you'll be notified when that happens. Um, you can also leave a message below in YouTube, but I don't respond to them as quickly as I do with the Facebook. Um, however, I will try to answer your questions as soon as possible. And until next time, guys, I uh, hope this was easy to follow, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.